Hi guys, I will be sharing my investment um, strategy. Um, so I'm only interested in Bitcoin Cash, but you can apply this uh, to also Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever coin you're interested in. Um, uh, I'm not a trader, I'm an investor. I'm always surprised to hear traders say that they have no position for the moment. That means they are 100% fiat. Huh? Now, so many people are in crypto that are excellent technical analysts. They have actually 0% exposure to crypto and sometimes they take like a position of 5% or 10% or 1%. I don't know how much exactly, but like a very small amount of their portfolio and take certain positions, long or short. This is certainly not the way I invest, and and uh, and and, and uh, there are very successful traders, but um, I think those are actually exceptions. Uh, what you will see is that uh, long-term investors are much more successful than traders on average. Huh? Like people that become billionaires from investing, well, it's nine in ten an entrepreneur that just holds on to its stock and never trades it. Huh? Nine in ten. Huh? It's the same in crypto. Um, uh, nine in ten people have become uh, very rich with crypto billionaires, or let's say hundreds of millions. Um, well, they are just long investors. Huh? They are they are people like Roger Ver or Olivier Janssens who have bought uh, early and and can hold on to them and, and are not traders, but are focused on building companies. Huh? So so so. But I do think uh, there is much value to get from certain technical traders uh, because they use so many indicators and, and that indeed increases the odds of being right uh, in the direction of the market. And, and for me, I am trying to get uh, uh, to invest my portfolio fully uh, and I'm trying to pick the, the best time uh, at the bottom, uh, trying to pick the bottom. Um, uh, and so uh, I find it very interesting. I will like uh, one new uh, trader I discovered, Eric Crown. I think uh, it's really, really good. Um, and you should certainly uh, check out his work. But um, uh, what's my plan? I've been changing this a lot and I can change it again. But um, I am now 40% invested in crypto. Uh, in Bitcoin Cash in my case, but this applies to all cryptos. I think though I am of the opinion it's much wiser to invest in big cryptos, big coins than small ones in this early phase. So, so um, yeah, big cryptos is top 5, top 10, uh, but let's say top 5. But um, now I'm 40% invested in, 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 in crypto and uh, I will Pump this up uh, to 60% uh, if the market drops. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is now at $300 or $280. When it drops to $200, I will go from 40 to 60%. When it drops to $100, I will go to 80%. And when it drops to $50, if it ever drops to $50, I will go from 80% to 100%. That's my plan. It's a simple plan. I, the Bitcoin Cash already saw $80, $75 to be exact. So um, I think that uh, the odds are high for a new bottom to be found for Bitcoin and almost all cryptos, Bitcoin Cash included, Ethereum included. Eh? I said several times before that I think these, these coins uh, might only see a double bottom and not a new bottom like Ethereum and Bitcoin Cash, but actually it's a 50-50 thing eh? because if Bitcoin doesn't make a new low, it's so unlikely actually that uh, other coins don't make a new low. So actually, I don't think I'm really like being objective there because yeah, your favorite coin, you always think it will be stronger than it ends up to be in reality. But um, but so a new low uh, makes a lot of uh, a lot of sense also for Bitcoin Cash. And so since the low was at 75, well, it should be cut by half at least because for Bitcoin, the low was 3,100 and I, I do think uh, 1,900 is possible uh, and probable, personal opinion, uh, for the low to be. So that's about 50% below the, the current low. Uh, not 50, it's like 40% below. Eh? From 3,100 to 1,900 is another 40% drop or so. But... Um, uh, 
30%, 40% drop. So how much will other coins drop? Well, they drop double as much. Eh? Uh, so uh, if Bitcoin drops 30%, well, Ethereum or Bitcoin Cash, uh, top, other top coins will drop more than 30%. So let's say 50% could buy two. Um, so that means for Ethereum the bottom was 80, let's say for Bitcoin Cash the bottom was also 80. So drop by two, it means that they will find a new low at around $40. I think that's... That, that, I think that's gonna happen. Uh, I think that's probable. Um, but... I do want to take in my position with high certainty. Huh? So, am I going to try to buy at 40? No. But at 50, yes, uh, because it is a little bit above the low that I think will happen. But then I'm for sure filled. Uh, um, uh, so that's the lowest price I'm willing to pay. I'm, I, don't, I don't want to try to buy lower because that's too risky to not be filled. Um, uh, but how much percent am I risking to buy at, 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 at $50 then? Um, well, uh, not... I'm not going to take my position then, no, uh, like when it's double that, when it's making a double bottom at $100, I already want the, uh, uh, a very big exposure, huh? um, because uh, in the long term, that's, that's an amazing price, eh? amazing price, huh? uh, and we've seen this price already once before in this bear market. There is, even if we have a bull market coming, and so there is no new bottom, there is a chance that this $100 is seen again. Um, and, 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 and so I would call that good odds. It has good odds to be filled, whereas $40 or $50 has low odds to be filled. Um, uh, double of that $100 has good odds to be filled and then double of that $200 has high odds to be filled. Uh, I categorize it like this. So, but there is always the risk eh, uh, that the market runs away. We saw the bottom and nothing of nothing at all gets filled. So that's always in the back of my mind risking to be left behind and to have to, having to buy at a higher price is very frustrating. So I am at 40% exposure crypto now and let's say Bitcoin Cash is at $300, it's not 280. Um, well, I want to bump that from 40 to 60% uh, if we get $200. Yes, that's a majority exposure and before I said I don't want to go to a majority when I think it's not likely we're close to the bottom, but I think that was a mistake. It was too risky uh, at these prices because it's true when you look back on it thanks for the feedback from someone like I, I, I often am busy when do you, when is the bottom here and, and somebody said like it doesn't really matter I just I just made a, a tweet also about a, sh a great chart where are we in the psychology of the market eh? are we at capitulation anger phase depression depression phase and I, and I shared that Actually, I think we're only after the anger phase. So we did see capitulation from 6 to 3K for Bitcoin or for Bitcoin Cash from 400 to uh, $75. So for Ethereum from 200 to $100, that was a, a capitulation. I, I do believe that's correct. And that was in uh, no, uh, December of uh, the 15th of December, the bottom there. After that, we got anger uh, phase. Eh? Uh, or during the same time, uh, people are like, what the fuck? Eh? Uh, and me, myself also, like, what the fuck? Uh, sitting on big losses. Um, uh, but then you have a rebound. Uh, and, and since then we had a rebound. And, and the last few weeks, actually, that was, might have been the end of that rebound. It was a strong rebound. And usually at the end of a trend you get the strongest move and, and so that's in line huh? uh, it started moving up from the december the 15th but it took a long time uh, it was around 4k for two months or so uh, two months and a half and then it shot to 5k now the last two weeks so um uh, that's a three month move um so uh, i think that if you look at that chart uh, after that you see another uh, down move uh, that actually breaks the low uh, breaks the bottom goes to a new low and that's the phase of depression where 
people give up like they they don't have the anger anymore uh, but they are like starting to become depressed eh? like because they've been wrong so many times uh, um, and, and so I do think that is likely to happen my personal opinion uh, that we're not there yet and, and, and that's gonna happen and over the next half year um, and, and so if that happens yes Bitcoin cash will go to a new low and I will make my last fills at $50 that's my plan and maybe it drops more to even like say $25 off, off of that but that's okay um, I want to do it right now because I didn't do it right on the first drop uh, I, I had no good plan a buy-in plan and due to that I, I invested way too much at one price point huh? so I try I'm gonna try to correct this by by just going in much more slowly um, and more steadily so I hope that works out. I hope the gods are um, uh, well favored <laughs> because of course my fear right now is that I did miss the bottom that we won't see uh, 50 for Bitcoin Cash, that we won't even see 100 for Bitcoin Cash, maybe we see 150. Uh, and in that case, um, well, I'll be okay also because I do plan uh, to buy from 40 to 60% to raise my exposure uh, at $200 huh? um, there is only a very small chance that that does not happen uh, that that chance is very small that we don't see $200 for Bitcoin cash if you if you compare this with Bitcoin uh, BTC is the same as uh, talking about 4,000 huh? um, like yes uh, we might not see 3,200 anymore but I mean uh, we went to 5,200 uh, so 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 from in one move up basically huh? uh, so so you cut that in half and that's very likely to be hit again eh? that's a two thousand dollar move so uh, you go down thousand uh, dollars sooner or later uh, even if you're in a bull market so you go right below four thousand uh, is likely to happen even if we start the bull market so that's a great point to raise your exposure to crypto uh, if you don't have enough in case the bull market starts Thanks so much for watching. Bye.